Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry. And I'm Tom. Or Uncle Larry. Well, I'm Larry. Doesn't matter. And you're going to fan mail with me and him. It doesn't really work. And you're not going anywhere, really, to tell you the truth. You're just watching fan mail with me and him. We got fan mail. Yeah, we have fan mail. Uh, and I said, I think I, I, didn't I say it last time? That we were going to be doing fan mail on this channel. I um, think so. Yeah. And, uh. And if you didn't, we're saying it now. We're saying it now. We're doing fan mail on this channel. Maybe I'll do it on the other channel occasionally. We're outside. Probably not. It's sunny. We're mostly here. We got an umbrella. Yeah, it's really nice with the umbrella. It is. Although my left arm's in the sun. Well, your left arm needs a little sun, and your right arm, and your right leg, and your left leg, and your face, and your neck, and every other probably part of you. Too. Well, yeah, but it doesn't help much if it's just on my left arm. What? I'm gonna have a really tan left arm. Well, that's when you become a burger and you flip. Okay, well, I guess I'll flip right now, then. Not now. You only got, like, oh, two said, seconds. Oh, Yeah, stay like that. I think the camera likes you better like that. That's just me. So, I'm going to open the first one up, Tom, because you know why? This is from Norway. Oh, really? Yeah. That's actually really cool. And if any bugs attack us, which I'm sure it's going to happen. Usually does. Hopefully it's Tom. What? Huh? It's like five pages long. Oh no. Wow. Well, it's really short. There you go. Hi, my name is. Oh, why would you do this to me? Stein Ing Ingvar? Ingvar? I, I know I just butchered the crap out of your name and I'm sorry about that. I'm living in Norway. I'm a fan of your channel on YouTube. I've been a fan since 2019. And you're 15 years old. Thank you, St Stein. Is that how you would pronounce that, Stein? That's like the German pronunciation. I don't know how to say it in... It's Norway. Uh, Norwegians would pronounce it. Thank you so much. If somebody could provide us in the comments of a pronunciation guide on how to say... Uh, actually, they didn't see it, so they wouldn't even know how to spell it. Yeah. And it's, I appreciate that, and I'm... I'll tell you what. That was short and sweet and right to the point. That it was. I'm that's opening what I brought, this upside That's down. why I brought this out for. Well, but, I mean, you know. You can do whatever. Also, would help if I use the actual bright side of it. You know what? So it's beautiful weather right now, guys. Uh, we had three days of rain just like not too long ago. It was really crappy. It was like 53 degrees outside for the end of May. It was ridiculous for Memorial Day weekend. Um, but now it's back up in the upper 70s. And nice. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. I'm giving the weather report for, for our area. Apparently. And then after that, it's going to start getting warm again up in the upper 80s and 90s for at least a week or so like that. So I'm look, really looking forward to that so I can jump in the pool because the water temperature yesterday was 68. And that's no good. It's pretty cold. Yeah. And one off of me, nice. Well, another typed one. It is another typed one. Nice. Dear Uncle Larry and Tom, I'm a fan of your channel. Your videos rock. Thank you. Appreciate that. I am that. new to your channel. I can't wait to see the amazing content on Larry's Lounge. And Lounge TV. Um, you just ask just one thing when you get the fan mail and you vlog it. Uh, don't read his address. Okay. Understandable. Well. Uh, I also watch Junk Nuggets, and I have seen you on their videos. I don't know if you watch them or not. It's cool when someone has a YouTube channel and their uncle has one as well. Enjoy the hot weather. Put on some sunblock. Bye. Yeah, he's talking to you. Sunblock. Because you're white as a ghost. Wouldn't not having sunblock on make me tan faster, though? No, probably you. It would just burn you like a piece of bacon. I'd burn either way. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Where Raphael. Is thank you, appreciate that. Where I, I do want to see his address, just to see where he's from. Oh. oh! I think we could say a fellow Jerseyan, can't we? We can say that. Oh, well, it's too late now. Yeah. <laughs> Too late now, I just did. You uh, blew it. I blew it, yeah. Blew um, it. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but there's a big giant would be looking for Tom's head. You, I know that I vlogged this before, what was it, like a year ago, but this guy just goes crazy against would bees. I don't like him. He doesn't. He you really know why? Because I work hard on my deck out here, Honestly, right? I'm surprised you don't have the badminton racket nearby. Oh. See, I worked hard on my deck out here, right? And these, I was gonna say. For those of you who don't know, there's what's known as carpenter bees or wood bees. Yeah. They're 
an American unit's about an inch long. If you're not using the Imperial system, then please convert to metric. I'm sorry. I don't sorry. think they sting. I think I think the males don't and the females do, or vice versa, one or the other. I think it does. I Carpenter think. bees don't sting at all. I looked this up. They, I think they don't sting at all. They just try to be intimidating because they're big and they fly like right up next to you and they just kind of stare at you. I think you're wrong. I think females stick. I looked this up when we had this discussion. Did you like look at males year. and females? Males Google only. that right now while I talk to the people. So anyway, what they do is they drill holes into your wood. They'll sit there and they eat it or bite it or whatever. I don't know what kind of tooth they have or whatever, but they perfectly round holes. And you'll see a pile of, of sawdust on the ground and everything because they're going up into your up into your wood. These things drive me crazy. I don't like it because you know what? I worked hard to build the deck. I don't want them to hear. They got to go. So I take them out. Female carpenter bees do have stingers that contain venom and they're able to sting more than once, but they stay close to their eggs so you're unlikely to encounter them unless you disturb their nest. Right, I've encountered them. I... Oh, I have. Sure, you've encountered them. You have certainly encountered them. Oh, here's a half for you. Yeah, that's called the dunce hat then because you were wrong. Dunce hats are a white cone. Maybe you should put that on. This is a set. Do not separate. Yeah. Sour pickle balls. Sour pickle balls. Please try our other taste. Oh. This is really sour, is it? Oh. Who's from? You know what? In Z Home. We're going to have to do a sour challenge, I guess. Who can last the longest with it? I think I can beat Joe with that one because Joe hates sour. Probably. I mean, he likes balls, but he hates sour. So uh, we'll just we'll have to try that out. That's uh, That just gave me a video right there. Just like that. Here. I don't know if this is going to really help. Oh, wait a second. There's a note on the outside somewhere. Let's see, this is Larry, Kevin, and Joe. No, no, there's a note on the outside. It's right there. Oh, there it is. But be, you know what? Let me cut that off. Because it says, it says don't do not let Joe see this note. Read, read before, before opening. opening. Okay. Yeah, you, you open that because um, I don't want to take the responsibility if I cut through it. Yeah. And I know how you are. Uh-oh. They taped over the note, so it's going to not be too uh, too easy. Here. You can work on that. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So, uh... Hey, Larry. I've got a great idea for a prank on Joe. He's always so excited to read the top story on That's News to Us. What if you wrote a fake story full of tongue twisters? You'd be like, okay. Joe, here's the top story. Don't flub it. You know what? I can do this right now because guess what, guys? We'll be shooting that video before Joe would ever see this video. Full of tongue twister, you'd be live, okay? Uh, or you'd be like, okay, Joe, here's the top story. Don't flub it up. Then watch him get all flustered. This is from Scoobs. Oh, and by the way, get some paperweights ready before opening. Uh oh. That has me a little scared. Is there going to be like a big snake jump out or something? Potentially, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get this tape on. I can't find the end of it. Like this. Wow, this is like taped really, really good. Oh, but I'm the one doing it wrong. Well, you did. You didn't cut it. You were trying to peel. No peel, peel. Cut, cut. Here, could you put your finger right under that blade there and see what? All right, here your... we go. Uh oh. It's a bunch of post. Okay, I guess I get this. Here you go. You can open it. Okay. He told me to in PS stand back. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I think I see why he meant the paperweights because this is like cardstock. Oh, here. Oh, oh, are these all it's the a same? Billy's icon. Oh, so they're like here, hold that. Go paper ahead. coasters. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, Larry's Lounge just says at the bottom. Oh, that's cool. What else? Got is? a Corona crown. Nice. Um, 
Oh yeah, Kevin's worn a shirt that has this skull on it, hasn't he? Yes. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense then. This is cool, and there looks like there's one, cool. let's, one let's for each of us. Let's hold it in front of the uh, umbrella so that the nice people can all see it. What? Can you reach a little further forward? There you go. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. The question is, are they all the same? That's what I think. I think they're all the same. Uh, yep, looks like they're all the same. Man, thanks, Scoobs. Yep. I appreciate that. And you know what? I think what we have to do is for the next that's news to, news to us. I think uh, I should print out because he always wants to do the top story. Just a whole bunch, like some bunch of tongue twisters. Like write it out so that it's a bunch of tongue twisters like interspersed throughout the story. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to come up with something. A reporter on the scene talked to Sally who sells seashells down by the seashore. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she referred him to Peter Piper who picked a pack of pickled peppers. Yeah, yeah. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Did Peter Piper pick the pack of pickled peppers? Look, How listen. many pe pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Look, listen, as a... Uh, Just two. Uh, I had something saying? I lost. That was you important. You distracted me. See? How do you forget something? Like, I mean, it was right there. Because I had it, and then you went on a different thing. I was listening to you, like, you know. Because you, 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 you started thinking about, like, I wonder how many pickled peppers Peter Piper actually did pick. He picked a pack. A peck. A pack of peck. Yes. What's a peck? I don't know. How am I supposed to know that? It's a it's a few. Well, that's news to us. <laughs> I appreciate this, guys. I really do. Um, that's yes, a cool thank thing. thank you all so much. And if any of you guys out there want to send some um, fan mail to us for Lounge TV or for Larry's Lounge, hit us up here. And we can do a video as as you know if we as soon as we get an accumulation of at least four, then we can do a video on it and we can talk about whatever it is because it's like this gave me an idea for a little thing tomorrow, and then uh, I smell fire. So do I. It's across the street again. Checking my fence out, guys. Um, yeah. So then we can we can. Uh, do that video there, and uh, and I'm, I definitely want to prank Joe with that. And like I said, by the time he sees this, it'll be too late. What? <laughs> Don't you tell him. I'll punch you right in the face. That's messed up. Well, mess you up. Mess you up big time. I was I was going to close the video out, and you're going. I why was thirsty. You, why would you pre-drink before the end of the video? Well, why'd you pre before the end of the video? Guys, appreciate you guys. And I don't have anything else to talk about. Do you, Tom? Do you have anything like keeping it real topic? Like, guys, you should hit us up with some topics that you would like for keeping it real. If you send in things that we could talk about. Um, Cause, but just, you know. Then you get two for one. Send us a keeping it real topic in fan mail. Yeah, but just know that not all topics we can actually cover on YouTube because certain topics are frowned upon on YouTube, so, and plus if they're topics that we just don't feel comfortable discussing, we won't. Won't get right. into politics, uh, or, yeah, I can talk a little bit about religion. Um, that doesn't bother me so much, because it's like, I, I only give, I don't, I don't preach. I, I just say my opinions on that, or whatever. Um, so, religion's a little bit more open. Uh, politics, no. Stay away from it. Suggest you all stay away from it too. It's all bad. It's all bad today. All of it. All politics. Nothing good. Don't mess you up. Guys, hope you appreciated this little video we made for you guys. Until next time, grab your shots, I'm cold, drink, put your feet up, relax, meet you at the lounge. Hey, what's this? Oh, there's an extra note here. It says, uh, Uncle Larry is stinky.